So a lot of you guys have been asking me about um, what I do for my health tips and how I keep my skin glowing and everything. So I'm going to share just a few things. Firstly, I'll mention that I wake up every morning at 5 a.m. for a jog. And then after that, I <clears throat> uh, sometimes I come back and still do another workout. And then, <laughs> sorry, excuse me, I uh, just got a bit distracted. And Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Before I continue with this video, I would first of all like to thank all those who have subscribed to our YouTube channel and also those who are liking and sharing and also commenting. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys and showing you guys how I carry on my daily activities, my daily routine with the boys. That's um, in terms of homework cooking, cleaning, and <clears throat> um, arranging of stuff, you know. So guys, um, actually, I'm going to be, um, let me say switching, changing my videos all the time when it comes to uh, my daily activities or my daily routine with the boys because, you know, I'm dealing with kids and, you know, I have three boys and um, the youngest is three years old. I have a six-year-old, I have a five-year-old and I also have a three-year-old. So actually things are going to be changing as the days goes by. So everything is not going to be the same all the time, you know. So today's video, Video. I'm going to be showing you guys from when I get up in the morning and when I go to bed you know and things are going to be changing especially on days when the kids are home actually either a holiday or when schools are being cancelled so when schools are being cancelled things get a little bit different at home because at that point in time i don't want my kids to miss um a lot so at that point in time i step in as a teacher and as a mom and also as a homemaker you know i try to go a little bit ahead of their teacher you know so when there is no school things are a little bit different unlike when the kids are already in school hope you enjoy this video um if you like it please give it a thumbs up this channel is all about motherhood and how to raise kids and organization and cleaning so if you think you are in the right place please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe and share our videos bye all right so the first thing is when i get up in the morning after my morning prayers um i go ahead and have my morning hygiene and then rush to my makeup studio and apply some light lip gloss and then rush to my kids rooms and try to clean up their rooms and make up their bed Due to the fact that it's winter and places are very cold right now, um, I try to make sure that um, in all of the kids' rooms, um, there are two blankets on their beds, you know. That way they can feel a little bit warm while sleeping at night. So that's what I always try to do, Bird. On winners, um, we always put two blankets and on summers, we take it off. Yeah. So <clears throat> at this point in time, I'll go ahead and 
vacuum every kid's room and vacuum upstairs so the next thing is i will go ahead and do whatever laundry that is available um laundry is something that i do um like twice or sometimes three times a week depending on how the kids dirty their stuff and sometimes their stuff would not even be dirty and they will just go put it in the dirty basket you know there are three of them and you know i'll always have a lot of laundry to do which is okay with me you know so today actually the boys do not have school because all the schools have been closed due to snow so we have a snow emergency today so they are home but whenever they are home and there is no school at that point in time mom steps in i step in as a teacher a mom a homemaker and a wife at that point in time i try not to lose a lot all right so this is jory's room actually jory's room it's um like our laundry room you know when we do the laundry we bring it in his room and fold everything there so the next thing is i'll go ahead and you know clean their library and put stuff away you know um today is actually a good day to clean their library because all kids are home and what i realized was some of the books that were there the kids did not really need those books and most of them um the kids have written a lot of stuff in the books and so the books are needless so and so i went ahead and took every book that was in the um shelf and then i cleaned the, sh the shelf i disinfected the shelf and then we had to you know select those books that they need and the ones that they don't need and we had to put them aside and when i gather their stuff like this um sometimes i'll gather their clothes that they don't need the shoes and the books and i'll take it to um the goodwill you know um so we had the opportunity to do the um the, to clean the library today so it was a little bit i mean it was fun you know because the kids had to um assist with um the cleaning of the library now it's evening and um after the kids must have had um a little bit of downtime um in the evening we try to do um a little bit of something before the kids go to bed so i'm making dinner i act I, I always like when they do their homework in the kitchen where when i'm cooking um if i'm not doing anything we do it in the library together but when i'm cooking i want them to do it in the kitchen because i always want to be present when they are doing their homework and when they are studying in so that way if they need any question or if they want to um, ask any question i'm always available to assist them with their homework and their studies so currently i'm making dinner i'm making spaghetti and i mean stir fries So at this point in time, everything is done. The kids are in bed. Um, they already brush their teeth. And, you know, I have a video on that where they brush their teeth and do everything before they go to bed. Um, so now I'll go ahead and clean my kitchen. You know what? I don't like that. Oh, so I always like a clean kitchen. So there is no way I go to bed without cleaning my kitchen. You know, there is this feeling when you get up in the morning, you come back to a very clean kitchen in the morning. It feels like <gasps> breathtaking, you know, I mean, you feel what I'm saying? Oh my God, you know? Oh, hi everyone. I mean, if you're just coming in, please grab a seat and please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. This is a H's family vlogs. Okay, guys. And if you think this is the right place for you, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and also like and comment and then share our videos. All right, guys. So feel free in this house. Okay. So I'll go ahead and mop the floor. This mopping bucket is like, oh my God, 
I do really love it because it saves me a lot of strength. Like I don't have to bend that much before cleaning the floor, you know. So because of this bucket, I clean my floor like twice a day or once a day, depending on how dirty it looks, you know. So I really love this bucket. You look at, you see how I'm cleaning it? Like I don't bend that much. It saves me a lot of waste pain. So usually when the kids go upstairs, it's hard for them to go to bed um, without us reading a book for them. It's either mommy reads a book or daddy reads a book. No matter what you do, they will not go to bed until we do that. So at this point in time, they are already used to it and to a point where everybody has a book um, by their bed, you know, on their nightstand. So what they do is um, they will um, go to somebody's room, either Ryan's room or or Radon's room. Jorish would never want to sleep in his room. For some reason, we don't know why. He just want to be with his brothers or with mommy. But hey, mommy and daddy would not want him to sleep in their room. So it's either he'll be like, Ryan, please, or Radon, please. And he'll have to sleep with one of them, either of them. So at this point in time, we are already done reading um, the storybook. And we are about to pray for before they sleep so what we do is um at night everybody has a turn of um reading a storybook so um and another person has a turn of leading the prayers so this night it was radon who led the prayers and ryan read the storybook so that is it so guys thank you all so much for for watching this video if you think this is the first time you're stopping into this channel please do us a favor and hit the red subscribe button just below this video